In a forest lived a rather rickety mouse. He was so afraid of the fox, the wolf, and even himself, for that matter, that if the wind blew and a branch cracked, he looked around for a hole he could hide in. Because of this, all the little animals made fun of him. <laughs> How scared is he? You're even scared of the wind. You're so scared. You're, You're so, so scared. scared. You're so scared. <laughs> One day, the mouse got his act together and went over to see the king of the jungle, the lion. The lion had just finished having his lunch. He was taking a nap in front of the cave. The mouse's friends were all curious as to what the mouse had planned. The mouse started to climb up the lion's tail. He got up on the lion's back. With a very confident look on his face, he posed to his friends. Although he was very scared, he was doing everything in his hand not to make it obvious. Right at that moment, the lion woke up. And as he shook his fur, the mouse fell off. The mouse and the lion came eye to eye. All the other animals were worried. Oh no, the lion will swallow the mouse. What nerve, what courage. What are you doing on my back? Kick out the jungle. Please don't eat me. I'm the most scared that the boss swallowed him out that hole. But life passes up by shaking with fear. If a leaf falls off of the tree, I'm scared. I'm fed up with this. I want to get rid of this fear. You're the king of the jungle. With just one big roar, the animals fear you. Would you consider taking me to your custody? The lion listened to the mouse in silence. The mouse was wondering what his reply was going to be. <laughs> and why should I help you? Give me one good reason as to why I shouldn't eat you. Your help will be returned, I promise. Maybe one day I will help you. As soon as the mouse finished what he had to say, the lion roared in such a way... How can such a tiny mouse as yourself be of any help to me? But seeing the tiny mouse shaking in front of him, the lion decided not to eat him. Thank God I am full. Now get out of my sight. The mouse ran and got away from there. Watching all that was happening from afar, the friends of the mouse were really surprised. Some time had passed by, the lion got hungry and started wandering around in the forest. But he could not notice the hunter's trap and got caught. He was hung in the air in a big net. He tried to break free from the net, but he could not do it. He was the king of the forest, so if he could yell for help, he would be humiliated. And all the hunters would hear him and come to get him faster. Being out of options, he began to wait. Meanwhile, the other animals living in the forest noticed the lion. But nobody could dare get close to him. When he was passing by, Little Mouse saw the lion and he decided to help him. He went directly next to him. He started to climb the lion's long tail and when he reached the net, he began to chew on it. At that moment, the bunny came running next to them. Hey buddy, hurry up, the hunters are coming. 
The other animals who were gathered around suddenly started to run around when they heard the word hunter. But the mouse kept on chewing with persistence. In the end, the net was torn apart and the lion fell down and got away. Come on, jump on my back. Let's get out of here. The mouse jumped on the lion's back and they got away from there. All breathless, the lion arrived in front of his cave. He kneeled down and the mouse jumped off. When you told me that one day you might be able to help me, I underestimated you. I thought you were a tiny mouse with no use at all. But you saved my life. Thank you. It's my pleasure, my king. You don't have to be afraid of me anymore. In fact, you do not need to fear anything because you're a very courageous mouse. If I am the king of the jungle, from now on, you are my courageous prince. Lion and the mouse began to laugh. <laughs> All the animals watching all that was happening from afar came out and applauded the courageous mouse. The lion and the mouse became best friends and the forest lived in peace forever.